at Uganda's Karuma Hydropower Plant, a major energy project built by China on the River Nile. Africa's digital ambitions are taking shape alongside its power infrastructure. Developers say the facility is designed to support large-scale artificial intelligence computing with operations expected to go live this year. We've got um, a 100 megawatts hyperscale, um, what you call a supercomputer, an ecosystem of supercomputers and AI factories out there in Karuma. All of that will be sitting on an 80-acre facility, which will take everything that is going in there. What we've done now is to break the project into four separate areas. The first part of it is the first supercomputer that is coming into Africa. It's called the UCO. UCO means, um, in Swahili, it means infinite. The $1.2 billion project developed by Cinetics Technologies with partners including NVIDIA and Schneider Electric sits near the 600 megawatt Karuma Dam. Developers say the location offers something rare in Africa, stable, renewable power at scale. When you're looking at the hydro, it's extremely stable, it's green energy, it's um, very well priced also. Um, the fact that we are also by the water, because there are certain challenges you have when you're running data centers, supercomputers, AI factories, and so on, which is the heat that it generates. So even the water from Victoria now, you now use it to cool down your system. While advanced AI computing powers carry out research in North America, Europe, and parts of Asia, Africa has largely been left out until now. This project reflects a growing shift where major energy investments are now being linked to digital infrastructure. But artificial intelligence requires constant heavy power, raising broader questions about whether Africa's energy systems are ready for an AI-driven future. Beyond computing, the project also includes an artificial intelligence center that combines research, training, and commercial innovation focused on African solutions. We are currently uh, developing our artificial intelligence strategy that we expect to be ready by the end of this financial year. <coughs> However, all the other laws that we have in place, the Computer Misuse Act, the Data Protection Law, uh, Electronic Transactions Act and all those are supporting uh, the utilization and effective uh, use of artificial intelligence. Supporters say hosting AI infrastructure locally could help protect data create jobs and reduce reliance on foreign servers. Critics warn that without strict rules and access, countries could host advanced systems without gaining their full long-term benefits. Michael Balikesi Kampala.